good to be back again for another Transformers animated review. Um, this is the second review of today that I'm doing. <clears throat> In my last review, I did the Deluxe Ironhide. Now, <clears throat> we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers animated Toys R Us exclusive, Rodimus Minor. Or Minor? Yeah, um, Hasbro, they really kind of screwed up on the name. I think it would be better if they just called him Rodimus Prime, honestly. Or maybe Rodimus Major, but or just Rodimus. I know the Dakar version, they're just calling him Rodimus. And the paint job on that is just fantastic. The paint work in the Japanese version is just really fantastic. Um, the Crystal version, not a big fan of it. I might get that version, but I'm not sure. But if I get the Dakar version the with the uh, metallic cherry red version i'm going to keep that in box and you know if i can find one for a good price on ebay or whatever but this is the american version the north american version here <clears throat> now as you can see he is very very g1-ish this figure this his vehicle mode looks like the almost looks like the g1 figure almost identical when it comes to you know comparing them to their vehicle mode um as you can see here, he comes with his signature bow that he used in the show. This is how you would display him in the car mode. Um, if you don't like it on there, you can just take it right off. I actually like it on mine. It looks, you know, not too bad. But here, I'll take it off for you just to show what his full vehicle mode looks like. I'll put it down here so you can get a good view from here. Um, <clears throat> he rolls very well on any surface. Yeah. He rolls way better than Ironhide. Um, here's a little size comparison. Um, Ironhide more bulkier, much bigger, much taller, um, but uh, a hot rod more sleek and more, just more sleeker, I would say. So, very fantastic. Um, like I said, he cost me the same price as Ironhide, and. Very, very nice. He does have his uh, engine on the front here. Both wheels roll very nicely, like I said. He has a huge gap right here, almost like the classics Rodimus. Um, but yeah, really great nonetheless. So to transform him, what you're going to need to do first, um, well, what I do is I go under here and I unpeg the feet, which are right here. So like that. Um, you're going to have to split or get the cockpit open. You can open the cockpit and that's his head inside. Unpeg the back. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. The This has a lot of tabs and ball joints, so be very careful. The back wheels will most of the time unpeg from the ball joints a lot of times, so but they can go back on it easily. So unpeg them and just bring them out like that. Move the spoiler up like that just to get it out of the way. Get the feet, unfold the feet back far as they can go just for now you want to you know just have the clearance that you need to get them out of the way this one is a little tighter there we go come on, come on. there we go Bring the feet down. I'll just bring this up here. Push up the engine pieces inward. Like that. And what you're going to need to do here is that you're going to need to turn the whole entire waist 180. Like that. But before we do, I'm going to fold in the, the Autobot logo and then take two wheels here and put them inside the chest take these arms turn them like that 
and then there's a little slot here in this little black piece right here where my finger's pointing. You gotta slide it inside the blue pla plastic where the windows are, like so. You'll hear that clicking sound. Again, these pop up a lot. Next, you can turn the head <clears throat> like so. And I don't know if you can see it, but in there are these two little pegs right here. You're going to need to flip up the screen and it'll lock the chest in place in all the other parts. So do that. There we go. And then what you can do, put a spoiler up and then take this red piece and just fold it down. Um, as for the legs, you're going to need to click them in place. Click, they just snap in place and position the feet and as for the arms you want to just bring them down turn them sideways and unfold the hands you got one hand fold it down fold out the hands just turn it to the side and there we have Transformers animated Rodimus in robot mode now he really looks amazing he has fantastic light piping, he has good articulation in the feet and the arms, uh, but the spoiler on his back, his, thing, his signature spoiler, gets in the way with this, so you really can't move it a lot. You can just move his elbows and turn them. I just leave it like that. I don't really, I'm not really, um, you know, I don't really pose my Transformers that much. And he has really good red color and really good um, light piping, like I said. A lot of gold yellow here on the chest, on his vehicle mode. Um, the, the pipes here go on his knees, it's a little nice touch. He has his other pipes here on his arm, just like in the G1 toy, in the G1 cartoon. Um, alright, so here's his bow. So here, I'm going to put it in his hand here for a second. Let me just give me some, I gotta, the best way to put the bow in his hand is that you're going to have to slot it in from the side, so that way it's more securely, so that way you don't have to directly put it in the straight way. You don't have to put it straight, otherwise it won't fit that well. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right. And here he is with his bow. Very, very nice. I love it. Just very cool. Um, both missiles do fire. <laughs> really good. Nice gimmick. Um, I love it. You can do a lot. You can do a lot of poses with him, and he just looks fantastic. I, you, you just you got to get this figure. I'm going to get the Takara version. I don't mind owning two of the same mold when it comes to this guy because it's just fantastic. And, yeah, you have to pick him up. It's a definite it's a definite must-have. You need to have this for your collection. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. This has been a Dark Renegade video um, on Transformers Animated Deluxe Rodimus Minor or Rodimus Prime, whatever, or Hot Rod or whatever, whatever you want to call him, just call him that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and yeah, take care.